barely beat Gardner Webb was held to under 80 yards rushing but Nesbitt did not play in that game and he's starting this one and he gets Nesbitt on the keeper spun down after minimal pass play here Nesbitt hit as he throws and it's incomplete <laughs> he's sharp wasn't he first man through gets the carry Again, first man through down run this year in a 79-yard touchdown catch. Dwyer on third down, doesn't even get back to the line. Has him on the edge. Here's Nesbitt, the late pitch to Lucas Cox inside the 45. They don't even have a first down yet. They're leading 7-0. No. Here's Dwyer, makes a great move inside, spinning Michael Hamlin. Averaging close to 100 yards a game. Nesbitt with that late pitch to Roddy Jones, a freshman. Last year, now the offensive coordinator with the Kansas City Chiefs. Nesbitt leveled by Ricky Sapp and pinned at the 30. Nesbitt with the pitch to Dwyer. Knocked down. And so far, his first game as a head coach in college football not going well. His team trails 7 0. Here's Roddy Jones, and he gets back in. He talked longly about his defense, and yet again, they do not give up a first quarter touchdown. Only three points allowed in the first quarter this year. Nesbitt. There's third down. Nesbitt wrapped up in the backfield. Two interceptions in this game. Josh Nesbitt, the sophomore quarterback for Georgia Tech. Dwyer behind him. Nesbitt going to keep. And he's out near midfield for it. Georgia Tech leading 7 0. First man through gets the carry, and it's going to be a first down. You know, when you get hired at a place like Clemson, you're expected to win an ACC championship as the ball comes out. And it looks like Clemson got it at the 41 yard line. How many Greece has accounted for two of those turnovers with a pick and then the forced fumble? Nesbitt trying to find a whole team. Wrapped up and for. Nesbitt able to slip a tackle and then lower the shoulder into. Nesbitt throwing back to the other side of the field for Demarius Thomas in the season before that stuff happens. Nesbitt to throw. Georgia Tech with no passing yards in this game, and that'll continue. Coordinator, everybody now doing jobs that you're not used to doing during the season. You're not equipped for that in college football. Nesbitt taking off and got maybe four yards. The Bugs let go. Colin Harper pipes. In with a comment, so does C.J. Spiller, as Dwyer is loose in the second there, across the 35. And pushed out of bounds near midfield. As he in South Carolina, where anything the players say is going to get printed and talked about ad nauseum. Nesbitt has a man wide open, Ronnie Jones, inside the 25 to the 20-yard line. Not happy, giving up the big play there, 35-yard pass play. Dwyer stumbles to the 15. It's for Tommy Bowden. And big reason why he's no longer the head coach. Or just take it and quarterback sneak. And you know what? Best drive of the day for Georgia Tech. Here's Dwyer. Pinballs forward to the ninth play of a drive that started at the 20 yard line. Here's a pitch. And no, it's Nesbitt keeping. What a fake by Nesbitt. He fooled the entire Clemson defense. That ball's got to be drilled in there as opposed to lobbed over the top. You lob it, you give the safety a chance to make a play. Uh huh. <laughs> Don't go in there. Here's uh, Nesbitt. As we're to lose, that means we'll have a fifth number one team. Remember last year, all those upsets is Dwyer oh, yeah. gets the first down. Into the first half. Played well against it early. We'll go back to that, uh, that frame of thought. Here's the pitch to Dwyer, a flag down, and Dwyer knocked down by McDaniel. Yes, standings will be. low block against the offense. Number 36 blocking back toward the ball. That's a 15 yard penalty. Repeat first down. Lucas State and Joe Paterno have it going. Here's Nesbitt, and he's not afraid to take a plate for the title every year since 1999. Here's Nesbitt, and again, taking on a defender, he runs. Tech 2 of 7 so far. 
Nesbitt will keep trying to get to the outside. And he does. Great run to get the first down. Running plays by Georgia Tech. And now a pass. Down the sideline. Incomplete. Intended for Roddy Jones. Basically, or essentially, is the, uh, the triple option of Georgia Tech. Here's Dwyer. The ball came out. At the 44-yard line, Darrell Scott, who has been tremendous today, a defensive tackle for Clemson, stripped it. And a lot of bodies around the pile. I don't know how the officials ever yes, saw this. Ball. Ball. Clemson comes up for their turn. <laughs> Nesbitt and Keith, and again, Darrell Scott there. Another top 10 team in trouble. No. Georgia Tech, three of eight. This is a third and four. Nesbitt swings it for Curls, but he couldn't hang on to it. And uh, then a game, a uh, touchdown saving tackle. Here's Dwyer straight ahead. Powers into the secondary to the 48. Good acting job. But even then, the officials got to be paying attention. That was three or four seconds afterwards. Nesbitt. Uh, Second down, first man through, penalty flag down. Dwyer stuck. We have Eagles shift on the offense. Backs moving and not stop. Take this to steady. Five yard penalty, beat it down. Inkert with a little bit. Nesbitt gonna throw, pass is too tall for Demarius Thomas. Nesbitt pressure. Pass downfield incomplete. Georgia Tech goes back to work now trailing. A late pitch and Dwyer not even going to get back. So they can work to turn it over to your assistant coaches. I think though when Michigan hired Rick Rodriguez, they're, they're hoping he's the CEO. Pressure coming. Nesbitt trying to hit Thomas. And the catch is made. Forward progress. We're creeping close to the fourth quarter. Maryland wait with Maryland leading 19 up. Nesbitt going deep. Nobody home. Not on the same page that this bunch can come up with a stop here. And another pass play. And a flag down. Nesbitt's pass caught. Thomas with a first down grab. And Making noise. Is that took place? 71 offense. 10 yard penalty. Nesbitt keeping on second and 20. And Nesbitt going deep. Thomas is down there. Right through his hands. Incomplete. And then fix things for the Missouri Tigers. Cole McCoy, many would say the leading candidate for the Heisman Trophy right now. B3. Nesbitt with the option. And great job by Clemson. Just for saw him anyway. Point to his head, telling his secondary, think, don't let a guy get behind you on third down and 14. They let Thomas get in front of him, though. And he pulls it in for a first down at the 41. From the 41-yard line, big hit as Jonathan Dwyer with moving a seat over, if you will, from assistant coach to head coach with the resignation of Tommy Bowden this week. Dwyer breaks a tackle. And Nesbitt right over left guard easily. And, uh, and Aaron Kelly and James Davis, nice job of adjusting. Here's Dwyer straight on. Nesbitt going to keep and gets swarmed at the twist on the deep throw. He's going deep again. A defender falls down. Thomas on the catch. And it's a touchdown. The athletic director, Terry Don Phillips, they're talking with uh, Debo Sweeney and Tommy Bowden down there. Here's second down and eight. Nesbitt will keep, and he spun forward to about the 43-yard line. So Nesbitt going to keep. He's not going to get the first down.